than memory. You'll remember the idea of this game from when you played dot five memory. You'll also see a similar game again when you play dot 10 memory. Here's what you're going to do. First, choose two or three decks of cards. If you want a challenge, you could choose more. You're using one of, you're using two to three of these decks of tiny polka dot cards. There are six colors. Choose two or three, mix them up, and then deal them out face down like I have over here. You can see that I have mine face down. You'll also see over here that I have an example of what I'm looking for in order to build the number seven. As I go through and play memory, I'm hoping to find matches that add to seven. Take a moment right now to think about which numbers add to seven. You could pause and look at the different formations in these cards here, or maybe you already know. The first thing I'm going to do is flip over two tiny polka dot cards. Look at this. I flipped over two cards. I got a, I got one, two, three, four, five, and I know that this number is three. I'm going to start counting at three and count on five to see how many this adds up to. Hold three in my head, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Darn it. I have one too many. Now I'm going to try to flip over two different cards. See if I can make seven. This time I chose to flip over this card and this card. I see that I have the number four and the number three. I know that if I count on using my fingers or by drawing a picture, I can figure out my answer. So I'm going to make four dots first. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to choose a different color to help myself count. One, two, three. Now I need to figure out how many dots do I have in all? How could I figure that out? I could count them all, right? Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> Am I going to do it? Am I going to make seven? Seven. Oh my goodness. I found a pair, so now I need to take these cards away and put them in my own personal stack. Okay, down here are my stack of matches that make seven. When you go to play, see how many ways you can find to make seven. Either keep track in your student packet or on this Seesaw activity. Have fun!